In this video, I will share with you 5 tips to significantly reduce cost for your Microsoft Sentinel. I will reveal all the secrets how to reduce cost for security and some of them are very easy and fast to implement. By the end, you can start saving money for your CM solution without compromising on security. The very first way to reduce cost for Microsoft Sentinel is to set or change commitment tier. As you create Microsoft Sentinel, you are automatically put into pay as you go tier, where you pay for every gigabit ingested. However, pay as you go tier might not be the best for your organization. As your daily ingestion rises, you can use different commitment tiers and save significant amount of money. Let's take a look at the pricing tier for East US. If your daily ingestion is 200 gigabit of data per day, in pay as you go tier, you would pay $25,800 per month. But instead, we can use 200 gigabit commitment tier. And for the same time, you would pay only $16,400. That's over $100,000 saved per year. So make sure to check your usage and estimated cost in Log Analytics Workspace to determine the right pricing tier for you. Tip number two, use basic logs for high volume and low security value data. With Microsoft Sentinel, you can ingest data as analytics or basic logs. Analytics give you all the features related to security operation. You know, like creating analytics rules, running hunting queries, searching in your data effectively, and many, many more. With basic logs, you will lose some of those functionalities. You can't create detection rules for them, your KQL queries are limited, and additional charges for searching in data will occur. More importantly, your data is available only for eight days before they are moved to the archive tier. But it could be beneficial for data that you would only need for additional investigation, perhaps your firewall logs. The biggest advantage of basic logs is pricing. You will pay approximately four times less for data ingestion. Instead of $4.30, you will pay only $1 for every gigabit of data. And it's very easy to change tables plans from analytics to basics. Just head over to Logs Analytics Workspace. Navigate to tables in the left bar, find your table, click on three dots and select manage table. In here, you can change table plan from analytics to basics. As we are here, let me share with you another tip to save costs for Microsoft Sentinel, data archive. As you ingest data into Microsoft Sentinel, you will get three months of data retention for free. However, if you want to keep your data for longer period of time, you have two options. Either extend data retention with full functionalities for 10 cents per gigabit, or use data archive for two cents per gigabit. You will pay five times less. Of course, there are some downsides. You get the same limitations as with basic logs. Reduce KQL queries, searches will take longer, and there is additional cost associated with searching in your logs. To be said, in case of emergency, you can restore your data and search in them as you would with analytics logs. Overall, Archive Tier is a great choice for companies who need to follow regulations. You can set up Archive Tier for your tables in the same place as before by changing the interactive and total retention period. We can take it one step further with tip number four, which is don't send everything to Microsoft Sentinel in the first place. Yes, you can take advantage of basic logs. And yes, you can take advantage of archive tier. There are great built-in functionalities that will help you immediately to save some money. However, enterprise organizations with thousands of servers and endpoints might require a different solution. In Azure, you can take advantage of different data storage solutions. 
it might be more cost effective to send your data to Azure Data Lake Storage or Azure Data Explorer for archiving, especially for financial organizations that need to keep the data for up to five years. Maybe two cents per gigabit to archive data might not seem much, but if you have petabytes of data and you need to keep them for five years, the cost saving can be significant. You will find many complex solutions for enterprise organization with different requirements. For example, in this solution with Azure Data Explorer integration, you can save over 80,000 euros per month. That's absolutely crazy. The final tip how to save money for Microsoft Sentinel is to use data collection rules. With data collection rules, you can specify parameters, criteria, and conditions for gathering, ensuring that only relevant and desired information is collected. Microsoft already provides you with some solution to collect on a specific type of data. If you create data collection rule for Windows, you have the option to select from all, common or minimal sets of event IDs. And you can also specify your own event IDs to collect with expat queries. Another way to significantly reduce the cost is to just not collect everything to the specific table. As mentioned before, you pay for every gigabit ingested. That means you pay for every sentence, every string, every bit in your lock. Let's take for example Azure AD non-interactive sign-in locks. If we look at the raw lock, there is a bunch of useful information as identity, location, authentication details and many more. However, do you really need to ingest all the conditional access policies for this particular user? It might be better to drop this column and if required Find the details in the portal when investigating incident. To drop this specific column, we need to create a transformation rule in Log Analytics Workspace. It's very simple. Just navigate to tables as we did previously. Find your desired table and click on the three dots next to it. This time, select Create Transformation. First, we need to create data collection rule. Let's name it drop conditional access policies and click on done. After that, you can select next. On this new page, we have to create KQL transformation rule. To perform such action, you have to move to the transformation editor over here. Our query will be very simple as we will drop conditional access column. Insert pipe and type project away conditional access policies. After that, run the query. This will show you results for your query. After that, we can apply our changes and move to the next page. And that's it. Go ahead and create your KQL transformation rule. Once it's created, wait a bit, maybe 10, 20 or even half an hour for it to apply. It might take a while, so be patient. Once the rule is applied, visit your logs again and you won't see the conditional access policies in your data anymore. Pretty simple, isn't it? I hope you found the information valuable and you can optimize now your Sentinel cost. And if you are interested more about cost optimization, check out the video description for more information. If you found the information valuable, please leave it a like and subscribe for more content in the future. I'll see you next time.